we got to be more cautious and aware of the information that we're consuming on a daily. Like, our minds are machines. So whatever information that you're consuming on a daily, whether it's on a musical level, whether it's the TV, the shows, the movies you're watching, whether it's the conversations you're having, like, your mind is picking up information on a daily based off your seven senses. So whatever you're hearing, whatever you're seeing, whatever you're smelling, whatever you're touching, like your mind is constantly picking up information and storing it inside of here. And whatever information that your mind is consuming on a daily, that's going to influence the way that you think. That's going to influence your thoughts. So one thing I stopped doing is I stopped watching the news. Like my parents, every single day they wake up, they're watching the news. And we all know that on the news, all they show is negative things. They'll show 10 negative things and show one positive thing. Then show another 10 negative things and then another positive thing. So it's like when looking at the news, all that's doing is all your mind is doing is picking up on that information and storing fear in your head. You might see a school shooting. You might see someone getting robbed at the store. You might hear about some sex trafficking, whatever the case may be. So it's like now when you go in the store, you watching your back. Now, when you go to school or you're going to pick someone up for school, you're worrying about if there's a shooter on campus. Now, you're just going on about your day. Now, you're worried about if you're get, you get sex trafficked. And it's like your mind, you're only thinking that way because of the information that you consume from watching the news. So it's like you got to really think about and be cautious of what information your mind is consuming on the daily. Because if you're not aware of that, if you're not cautious of that, then you're not going to know why you're doubting yourself. You're not going to know why you're overthinking. You're not going to know why you're afraid of this thing. You're not going to know why you're thinking negatively. The reason that you're thinking negatively and that you're doubting yourself and that you have anxiety and that you feel depressed and all these things is because you're not being cautious of the information that your mind is consuming on a daily. You're just letting your mind free roam. You're letting your mind do whatever it wants. And since your mind is going to do whatever it wants, it's going to think that it's in control of you. It's going to think that it's in control of you as the human being. And as long as your mind is, as long as your mind is in control of you, you will never be in control of your life. And that's something you got to really think about. As long as your mind is in control then you will never be in control of your life because your mind is going to tell you to do this. And like a dog, you're going to do it. Your mind is going to tell you to do this. And like a dog, you're going to do it. So it's like you got to take your power back from your mind. You got to be more disciplined with your mind and like train your mind the way. Train your mind the way you would train your dog. Train your mind by saying, all right, we're going to sit right here and look at this wall for 10 minutes. We're going to sit right here and look at this floor for 10 minutes. Train your mind by saying, we're not going to watch TikTok on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Train your mind by saying, we're not going to scroll through Instagram anytime after 6 p.m. Like, you got to set a schedule and a time or whatever you, whatever you have to do. I don't know. Whatever you have to do, just do it. But you just have to find a way to be more cautious of what information your mind is picking up on a daily. Because like I said, that is the reason that you're thinking the way that you're thinking. That is the reason that you're doubting yourself or like you have no self-confidence or you're not, you don't have no self-love or anything like that. So that's my advice, man. Like for me, mus on a music level, on, like music wise, like the only music I listen to is uplifting, is positive music. I don't listen. I used to. I'm gonna be honest. I used to listen to music, talking about like fucking hoes and um like getting money, getting bitches, and like. If you are up, then you are up. Like, like, you know, like music like that. And it's like, that's the mentality I was in. 
that's the egoic state I was in. So that influenced the way I thought. That's why I looked at women as hoes back then. That's why I looked at women as bitches and didn't really care about, you know, how didn't really care about them being a woman. Didn't really care about their feminism. Just treated them like a hoe or like this. And I didn't respect them. And it's like, now I don't consume any information that will even allow me to think of a woman and not have any respect for her. I don't consume any information that'll make me look at another man and not have any respect for them. It's on you now to lose my respect. I'm not going to look at you and just have no respect for you because you didn't do anything to lose my respect. So, yeah, man, that's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty much it, man. Just be cautious of the information that you're consuming on a daily because that information is what is influencing the way that you think and the thoughts that you're thinking on a daily is going to influence your habits and the habits that you're, like, contributing in on a daily is going to determine your character and who you are in this life so just be cautious of what you're giving your attention to what you're giving your energy to because that is affecting your everyday life and um the worst thing you can do in life is live your life unconsciously live your life just going through the motions and just letting your mind pulling you in each and every direction and I don't want that for you. I want you to be cautious and be responsible. Take control and have a little, have a little bit of self-responsibility of your life. Because you can't just sit here and play the victim your whole life and then point the finger when things aren't going the way that you want it to go. It's not going the way that you want it to go because of you. Because you're not taking control of your mind. You're just allowing your mind to manipulate and do whatever it wants. And of course, your mind isn't going to take responsibility. Your mind is going to start pointing fingers at this person, pointing fingers at this person, pointing fingers at that person. But it's never going to point fingers at you because you and your mind are connected. You and your mind are connected as one. So your mind is never going to look in the mirror and say, oh, it's our fault. Your mind is never going to do that. You have to be the one to do that. The person beyond the thoughts, the person behind the mind, the person beyond the body. That inner being has to be the one to say, all right, shut up, mind. Maybe it is my fault. Let me take a step back and look at what I can do to change this. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to say that for another video and all of that. And I'm going to just leave this video as it is. Um, make sure you like and share this video with someone who needs to hear this. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Send in peace, send in love, send in blessings as always. Elevate.